let's talk about the four roles someone can have when they enter a Riverside studio. First is the host. If you have a free, standard, or pro account, when you enter the studio, you are the host. As the account owner, you can invite guests, use the chat, media board, screen shares, and most importantly, have to start and end the recording. For those on our Riverside business platform, any director or admin of a production can also enter any studio as a host and also start and stop recording. The second and most common role is a guest. When you're in a Riverside studio and you go to the plan tab, invite to record and using this guest link is what you'll send to anyone you'd like to join you in the studio to be recorded. When you invite a guest, they'll be recorded in high quality video and audio and they can still share their screen and use the chat within the Riverside studio, but they won't be able to start or stop the recording. That's on you as the host. The third role is an audience member. Riverside audience mode is a powerful way to live stream what you're also recording and have people participate either as an audience live call in, they can participate in the chat and watch you live. You can invite audience members by going to the invite to record and instead of guest, choose audience members. You can copy that link and share it on social media or within your community. You can access that audience link in the Riverside studio as well by clicking invite here at the top and instead of guest, choosing audience. You can copy that link. Now audience members will not see or hear you before you start recording. That's different than a guest. Once a guest enters the studio, you can hear and see each other and get things ready before you actually start recording. Audience mode, they only see you once you hit that record button. Also, you have to make sure audience mode is activated in your studio. To do that, go to the live stream tools here at the top and make sure the public audience link is enabled. You can grab that audience link here as well. Audience mode is powerful because you can also multicast to other destinations like YouTube, LinkedIn, and X in addition to using audience mode. But if you wanna use audience live call-ins where someone can literally ask a question on video and audio and you get a high quality recording of them as well in a separate track, all of that happens in Riverside audience mode. Audience mode is also great if you have a large team and you'd like to broadcast internally, have everyone watch live but still ask questions via the chat, or if you'll be doing a webinar for your brand or business, audience mode is great. And the final role is producer mode. This is available for those on a Riverside business platform, and a producer can do a lot of things behind the scenes in the studio, like adjusting audio levels, prompt guests to change their microphone, camera, and speaker output before you start recording. They can participate in the chat, admit guests and audience live call-ins. They can share their screen and play media board files. And they can even manage the teleprompter and share that with guests or start a presentation and give a guest control. The producer role is a powerful way to have someone manage all the technical aspects of your recording to allow your hosts and guests to focus on what they do best. If you wanna learn more about producer mode and all the powerful features there, check out this video right here. Also head on over to our YouTube channel and subscribe there. Hit the like button on this video. And if you have any questions about the four roles, whether that's host, guest, audience, or producer, leave a comment on any of the videos and we'll answer you personally. And if you wanna learn more about the Riverside Editor, where you can put everything together seamlessly and super fast, you can check out this video right up here. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create with Riverside.